The summer tradition is back. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Tom Kovac. He is president of the Newcastle County Council. Thanks for being with us. Pleasure to be here, Jill. We're talking about really what's become a staple of summer. It's all about ice cream. It's all about the ice cream. It's all about ice cream, family, and community. And uh, as you said, to open the segment up, it's back. And that's the segment, that's the slogan for the Rockwood Ice Cream Festival. Now, this has been a festival that has been in place for a number of years. It started in 1979, but it actually ceased operation in 2006. Talk to us a little bit about how it's actually making a comeback. Well, as you said, operation for a great period of time, wonderful community event. People would walk. People from all over would come. It was a great day to bring the family out, a great weekend around the 4th of July, perfect timing, perfect family events. But what happened is it grew and grew and grew. It kind of grew beyond its original roots. And then the county was paying an exorbitant amount of money for this festival, which was losing money. So in 2006, the decision was made, uh, this is costing us too much. Let's eliminate it. Well, the only problem with that is Rockwood Mansion and Gardens is a wonderful facility. It's a great jewel uh, in the county. So people stopped attending this event. And there's a mansion there, there's grounds there, they all need upkeep, and the county's responsible for that upkeep. So the thought was, well, if a private vendor could come in and bring this back to life, it would be a win-win, not only for the community, not only for that vendor, but also for the county to draw people into this wonderful, wonderful mansion. So now that this is coming back, it's a public-private venture, public-private partnership. Talk to us a little bit about how it's making a comeback. Well, the, just the, a very active community support person, Barry Schlecker. He has been uh, involved in doing the Newark Film Festival. Uh, he has resurrected the Brandywine Arts Festival. It's a festival of artists along the Brandywine River. So he's had a track record of success. Well, he's going to bring his energy and enthusiasm to the Rockwood Ice Cream Festival. And we, we have a uh, little ice cream cone card here and this logo. And you're going to see this all around Newcastle County. And he brings this energy, enthusiasm, and advertising experience running these successful festivals. It's going to be family-oriented. We're going to get local businesses, Delaware-based businesses. Instead of just one ice cream vendor, there's going to be about eight. There's going to be people providing food, but on a limited basis, so they're not competing with each other. Small toy stores, uh, Yo-Yo Joe's, which is from the Joe Mitchell and his, the Mitchell family are going to be there. It's going to be a wonderful experience to walk around, to enjoy Rockwood, support the community and a fun place to take the kids. Let's talk a little bit about Rockwood. This is obviously a historic mansion, but as you mentioned, it's a challenge to upkeep any historic building. But there's a friends group and you encourage people to get involved. Absolutely. The friends group was so instrumental in putting on this ice cream festival for years. But then, you know, as sometimes happens with government institutions, the government took it over and put, you know, on fireworks and everything, and it grew out of hand. This is an attempt to bring it back to the community roots. This, again, this private organizer is working with the Friends Group, and it'll help the Friends Group promote Rockwood. Because, yes, as any historic building, which means old, it requires maintenance, upkeep. It has you know, a fabulous greenhouse. You know, over time, they start to leak. So all these repairs are needed. But when people come enjoy the grounds, they will want to have their wedding reception there. They'll want to visit. They'll want to visit the historic mansion during other times. It'll help the county bring in visitors, not only from within the county, but from outside the county to enjoy this wonderful amenity we have. Now, this is all happening on July 7th and 8th. Uh, now, this was formerly a free event, but there will be a fee to attend for this year. Absolutely. What the reasonable fees, $5 per an adult, $1 for a child, and that $1 includes a free ice cream cone. So you bring the kids, bring the families, and it'll support the community and support a great cause. Thanks for being with us. All of it happens on July 7th and 8th. We've been talking with Tom Kovac. He's president of the Newcastle County Council. I'm Jill Horner.